So with the Looks and Effects Studio, the idea is that you're going to have a huge array of ready-made effects, whereas you can design and build your own type of effect and look. So we'll use a few examples in this tutorial. So you can see that we have an effects builder, we have a glitch builder, a film effects builder, and these are the more elaborate builders for your VHS looks or your glitch looks or your film effects looks. And then as we go down, we have some more blur effects, camera interfaces, RGB effects, grunge, glows, a wide array of different types of looks and effects. And the builders is what we're going to take a look at first. So when I highlight over a thumbnail, it's going to show me in the middle the name of that effect. And of course, I'm going to get a nice preview of that effect. I can also go over to the bottom right hand corner, hit preview all and get a good look at all the effects at once. And I can just make the thumbnails a bit bigger here. And if I highlight it, I get a better preview up top. So just slide your marker where you want the effect to begin and double click. We're going to see that effect layer. It's going to go over and it might be a bit bigger than the footage that you're applying it to. So you can increase or decrease the size of this layer depending on what you need. I'm going to go in and grab another effect. I'm going to double click on this 4 by 3 frame here. And again, I'm just going to adjust this layer to fit over my shot. Just grabbing the edges here. Now, what's important to understand is how these effects stack upon each other. If I were to flip the RGB frame that I initially put above my 4 by 3 frame, it's going to overlay like this. So it's going to be important how you stack your effects. And again, it's all up to you on what type of look you're trying to achieve. So let's grab some more effects here. Look for some noise here. And double click on the noise. You can just see how these effects are stacking upon each other. We have the RGB at the bottom, the frame in the middle and the grain on top. And you can readjust these how you see fit. Let's go back, grab another effect. All right, I'm going to double click on the chromatic abrasion damage number two. Now we can see how this is all coming along with these four different effects stacked upon each other. And if you want, you can just click render. Now moving down from the builders, let's take a look at some of the other looks and effects. So in this example, we're going to do something simple. So first, let's take a look at some of the glow effects. You can see there's a whole bunch of different glows here from streaky type of glows to blown out glows, more subtle glows. Let's select the glow white. And here we can see the glow effect around the shot. And I'm just going to clip the in and out of this layer just to fit over my footage. Now we can adjust this glow. If we go into the effects control, we can modify it. In this case, I'm just going to grab the blurriness and that's just going to tone it down a little bit. Now I can go into something like light leak effects. Inside here, if I highlight over the thumbnail, I'm going to double click. So I have a little bit of glow effect with a little light leak. And again, I'm just going to roll the edges. If I play it, and we're all good. Now let's take a look at some of more of the cinematic looks and effects. We can build with some of these effects to just enhance some shots or kind of the overall final look of your movie. So in this case, we have a little action scene. This looks pretty good, but we can give it more of a cinematic feel. First, I'm going to go into the Color Master Studio. And here I'm just going to select a cinema grade. Double click. And I'm just going to fit this to my shot. And here, if I turn it on and off, you can see, you know, we have a little bit more of a, a desaturated look here. 
Now let's go back into the look and effects category. I'm going to go into the uh, film builder. I'm just going to look for some grains here. So again, if I highlight over a thumbnail, you're going to see it's going to name the effect for me. So just slide your marker where you want the effect to begin. It's going to add some grain. Just double click. Now we're going to have some grains here. And again, I can modify and tone this down a little bit. Just go into my effects control. I'm just going to bring the grain down a little bit. It looks pretty good. Now again, you can stack these effects how you see fit. You could try putting the grain on top of your color or vice versa and see if it's achieving the look that you want. Now I'm just going to go into the framing and letterbox. And here we have all different frame effects. You know, we have Super 8 effects, film frames, Super 16s. But I'm going to go into some of the anamorphic looks. I'm just going to grab an anamorphic frame here. Double click. Again, just fit this to my shot. So you can see we're starting to get a very different look here. But the work's done for you, and all you have to do is modify the effects if you wish. So enjoy. Enjoy.